Hey there, welcome. Let's begin our drill sequence using an aerial yoga hammock or just tying a knot in your split silks. We're gonna do the pull over method, so taking the hands, wrapping around from the front, slice through the center, thumb up grip, knuckles out. Move the tail to the side if you're using your split silks. Pull up and over, lifting from the hips and landing in your front balance. Hold for 10 seconds here. Chest and sternum lifted, glutes and back extension engaged. Hold, and then leaning to the right, left hand grabs really high, thumb up. Go ahead and turn yourself up and over, bringing your body into a sitting position. Holding on tight, hug the elbows in and slide down to straddle. Keep the chest lifted, back parallel to the floor without arching, legs nice and wide, pointed toes. Hold your straddle. See if you can take your hands off the silks. Back body float, hang for 10 seconds. Hands light on the fabric or out to the side. When you're ready, grab the poles and begin to squeeze your legs right and left, windshield wipering, keeping the chest lifted and back flat, engaging the core the entire time. Do three to five of these on each side, quality over quantity. You can take a break when you're done and straddle back to release. From here, grab the poles, bring yourself back up into that hollow body, back balance position. Back is flat, squeeze the heels together, pressing the fabric forward, and then bring the legs nice and wide. Again, just three to five at the maximum, quality over quantity here to work on that lower abdominal wall. Find your straddle back and breathe. From here, we're doing three gazelle switches. So squeeze the legs together, bend the right knee over the poles and drop the left hip back. And then come back to your straddle, squeeze into pike, and then do the same thing with the left knee over the poles, right leg opening up. Continue opening your hips from straddle, pike, bending a knee, and opening up into your gazelle on each side three times, trying not to use your hands. Keep breathing, move from the core, and open up the hips. After you've done three on each side, we're gonna slowly open the legs back up into straddle and take a moment to rest. From here, hands grab the poles, feet touch the poles, go ahead and crochet the legs nice and long, bending one knee towards the crease. Sit up, grabbing one hand on each fabric, straighten the legs and push the hips through to trapeze sit. Make sure the silks are nice and high on the bikini line. We'll take both hands now towards one shoulder. Let's begin with the left, bending the left knee only and bring your shoulders forward and through. The fabrics will collect underneath your bent left knee into gazelle. Take a moment to collect the fabrics together, climb up and over your bent left knee and then pick the right leg, windmilling it into a hip key on the left hand side. Take a moment here, breathe. Bend the knee closest to the floor and carefully walk yourself back down to gazelle. As your head drops back, spread the legs nice and wide into your straddle. There will be a tail between your legs if you're using the split silks and the knot. So go ahead and gather your fabric up and throw it between the poles. Start over again to do the other side. Crochet both legs, bending one knee to the knee crease. Big sit up, climbing up, pushing through with your hips, and then bringing the hands both into the right pole at shoulder height. Bend the right knee and bring the body forward. Cartwheeling into a gazelle. From gazelle, take a breath. Exhale, grab both silks together, pushing through the leg and turning into your right side hip key. When you're ready, grab the pole, bend your bottom right knee and slowly lower yourself back down. As you come back to straddle, find the tail, collect it in front of the chest and throw it between the fabrics. Nice work. If you're ready to do a little bit more, we're gonna keep on moving. Crochet one leg on each pole, here we go. Big sit up. Finding yourself one more time in trapeze sit. Push through the hips. Now, keeping the hands right at shoulder height, bend the knees, squeeze the thighs together. We're gonna lift the hips up over the head, going upside down into a back tuck. Move your head to the side so the tail doesn't get stuck and spread the legs nice and wide. Releasing your left arm, bend your right knee and start to square your hips to the ceiling, finding yourself in gazelle. You have the option to climb back over your gazelle one more time and swing into a hip key on the right hand side. Take that top left leg, windmill it up and over three times for an additional little challenge here. Noticing that I'm keeping my left arm nice high and straight and my right arm low. After three of those windmills, grab a hip key and hold. And then carefully again, thumbs up, walk yourself back down to gazelle and straddle. 
We'll do this one more time on the other side. Ready? Crochet the legs. Bend one knee. Big sit up. Find your trapeze sit and prepare to go into your back tuck. Hands by the shoulders, lift the hips, slightly tilt the head and spread the legs nice and wide. This time release the right hand and bend the left knee. Square the hips to the sky. Climb up and over the bent left knee, grabbing both fabrics and windmill that bottom right leg up and over to a hip key three times. Inhale down, exhale up and lift. After three, pull up and over and find a hip key where you can squeeze the thighs to your chest, head and toes pointed to the floor and hold. Grab the pole, thumbs up, bend the bottom knee, carefully walking back to gazelle, and then finally opening the legs wide to a straddle. Arch the back, open the arms, and carefully climb on out of your fabric. Nice work.